Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer. Today we are gonna look at the Chanel Fall Collection. Now, I've already done the Chanel Eyeshadow Quad, the Intensity, and I've actually worn it in a couple of different videos to show you what it looks like. But today we're gonna look at the Fall Lipsticks and the Nail Polishes. I actually have all the nail polishes. I have seven of the lipsticks, although one is still missing. <laughs> It's on its way, but I figured I wouldn't wait. Um, when I do finally get it, I'll do a, a lip swatch for you. So I have eight lipsticks total. I have the new blue carbon eyeliner and the new mascara. And in addition, Shantikai was kind enough to, sh to send me their new Sheer Glow Rose Face Tint. So we're gonna use that today with all this new Chanel stuff. So if you're interested in seeing that, just stay tuned. Hey everyone, so I'm gonna pull my hair back so we can see the um, face tint better. So Chantecaire sent this to me. It launched, if, if this video goes up correctly, who knows, um, but if it does, uh, this will be the day after it went live. So this is the Chantecaire, that's a very cool little bottle, um, packaging. Okay, so this is the Chantecaire, sorry. Uh, Sheer Glow Rose Face Tint. A luminizing skincare makeup hybrid that gives the skin an incredibly smooth blurred finish with a radiant glow. Boosted with Matrixel 3000 peptide for supreme anti-aging benefits. Designed to be applied after skincare to leave the skin blurred and filtered. Wear all over for a subtle glow or brush into the high points of cheeks and across the nose. Mix with your moisturizer or foundation for a touch of rosy radiance. So this seems really nice to me. I really like their anti-aging face tint, which is in the same type of packaging, except it's this you know bronzy bottle. This is like a rose tint which makes sense. Um, I like the feel for this product, if it's the same as the face tint. It's kind of got like a gel-like texture, kind of like their Future Skin Foundation, which I do like. Yep, it's like that. And I already put some on the back of my hand earlier today. I don't know if you can see the difference, but the my, my, my arm looks more radiant than my other arm. I put it on about, Three hours ago, two hours ago, while I was working, uh, and I was like, hey, you know, we'll just see how it, what it does over time. And it really does actually look, it looks nicer. Um, it's kind of interesting. So we're gonna put on the face today, and then I'll put foundation on, and we'll get through all the um, Chanel, but I just thought, you know, it'd be interesting to see what it did. Um, it smells, has a light, very light scent. What is that? It's very light. Like, I mean, like a botanical, not, not, not a perfume. I don't know what it is, but it's very nice. And now I'm going to put what's on the back of my other hand because, you know, I'm getting older, hands are short in age. Yeah, that looks, that's nice. <laughs> I think this is a product that I'm going to use a lot because I really like products that make my skin look a little bit more glowy. Um, if you haven't watched my channel before, I'm 50 and my skin is dry and you know, I'm aging and you, know, you lose a little bit of that glow. Um, so anything that can make my face look glowy but not oily or sticky looking, that's right up my alley. Um, but the problem with a lot of products is they, they're bad for, well not bad, I shouldn't say bad. My, my skin is very sensitive and so I have problems using the product. Um, or it's too deep for me because I'm so, so pale. <laughs> so this I think is gonna be something I, I actually said to Shantika, I was like, I'm really looking forward uh, when they reached out um, to ask if I'd be interested in getting it. I was like, yeah, this is something I actually think I would like use every day. So I love this. Um, now, I, I don't know about the benefits, the anti-aging benefits. Of course, I just put it on my face. So I'll have to give you an update on that you know, in a couple weeks to a couple months. But I do feel like it gives a really nice glowy radiance to the skin, just putting it on like this. And for someone like me who often goes around without any makeup on, um, this is something that I would put on just to have, you know, a bit of glow or even mix it with like it mentioned with a foundation to have just a light glowy finish. So I'm gonna put um, the new Lancome foundation over it because I've just been using that. Lately, and once I open her foundation, I try to 
try to use it. Um, and then I will talk to you about the nail polishes and eyeliner and mascara, and we will do lip swatches for each one of the lipsticks. All right, we've got uh, Chanel bronzer on, Chanel tweed blush on. I'm also gonna use the Chanel tweed brunette rose uh, quad. I'm just gonna use the pink shade that's in here. It's a very light pink, but I'm gonna use a Kalinske brush. Um, this is a Hakahoto series brush. These brushes pick up pigment better than practically anything I've ever seen. Yeah, I thought so. I wanted to try it with this. Um, these brushes, they've gone up in price. Hakahoto went up, was that July, June? Uh, but they are absolutely great brushes and, and in my opinion, worth it. But anyway, I wanted to show you that this pink shade in the Brunette Rose is really very beautiful. Um, it, it's very shimmery and you know, it's, it's pink. <laughs> it's, it's like a light pink shade, but I really think it's, it's a really nice shade on the eye. Um, a lot of people have been asking, you know, which tweed I would recommend because I filmed my videos so many months ago, um, almost eight months ago now, in some cases eight months ago. It's a really hard decision for me to make. I actually like all of them. Um, the brunette rose is the um, pink and brown one. The fauve is um, more colorful, looks like a sunset. It is more pigmented. The creve is definitely, in my opinion, my personal favorite because I like the color story the most. It's very warm uh, and it is incredibly pigmented. And the poupre is, um, you know, purples and pinks. That one, if, if I was gonna say which one I would leave behind, it would be that one. But that's just because that's not really my color story. Um, and that one's not particularly pigmented, but it's a beautiful soft look. Uh, I think all of them are really, really nice, to be honest with you guys. So uh, it would be really hard for me to, to choose, but I think that gives you a little bit of a, you know, insight to what I think. But anyway, I just wanted you to see the shade is really beautiful on the eye. Just takes the right brush to, to bring it out. Um, nail polish, okay. So the way I did this, there are 12 shades. I have 10 fingers. Um, I put all the shades on my hand and then I put a couple of shades, the deepest shades on um, uh, on tape. So I, I thought I'd go through the shades with you and explain how I did this and like which ones are the warm ones and which ones are the cool ones and we'll go through the actual numbers. Let me grab them here. Okay, so the rosy side, those slightest to the deepest. And the easiest way for me to do it is like this. So the lightest shade is 937 uh, Harmony. So that's this one. And then this, so we'll just go this way. Um, then 939 Singularity. Then 941 spontane, 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 it's not spontaneity. No, it's spontane, okay. Um, okay, so now we have this one, which is 143 Adingme. I know that's not very good French, but that's how it's kind of pronounced. And then the last one's 945 Emotion. So these are the rosy shades. That's how they describe these. These have the rosy undertones to them. Now in that vein is the 947 Desire. Um, and that one looks like, and I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand like this, like this. And I would say it looks a lot like Vamp. I went to try to find my Vamp and I cannot find it. Um, I know I have it because I literally bought it the day, well, the week it came out. What was that, 90, 95, 94? Um, so I've, I've, I've had a bottle ever since. I just can't find it. So maybe actually my vamp went bad and I need another one. But anyway, uh, it's very close to vamp. So if you like vamp, you're gonna like that one. Okay, then we have the golden undertones. So again, from the pinky, all the way to the thumb. Go like that so you can see those. 
We've got 9.49 De Nude. We've got 9.51 Original. We've got 9.53 Essential. We've got 9.55 Inspiration. And then we've got 9.57 Impulsion. And then the shade that, the darker shade, deeper shade, is 9.59 Infinity. And I'll put this. Now this one almost looks like, um, a very, very deep, cool, it's actually cooler than the rest of the shades that are in this golden undertone one, but it looks like a chocolate brown. That's my best way to describe it. And I'll tell you guys, at first, I was not gonna get all 12 shades because I was like, you know, nail polishes. They're not all limited edition. Only some are limited edition. If I can remember to do it, I'll put down below <laughs> which ones are limited edition ones are darn. But I like these kinds of rosy, golden, neutral shades even like the deeper ones on my nails. I generally don't wear them on my lips, but I like them on my nails. And I just thought these are shades that I would probably wear. <laughs> so uh, to make it easier for you guys to choose, I picked up all 12. Also, there's something in the back of my mind that keeps telling me there was a shade that came out many years ago. It was called Blue Rossi or something like that. And I didn't get it. It was limited edition and I was like, ah, I don't need it. And I have kicked myself ever since. <laughs> because I want that shade. You can buy it on secondary markets, but it's like, it's something insane. It's like $150 for a nail polish. But anyway, so this time I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get it. So I did. Um, so I have all 12 shades, those are the shades, and hopefully that is helpful. Now there are also, like I said, 12 lipsticks. I picked up eight of them, seven of them are here, so we'll swatch them for you today. I did not get the deepest of the shades. Um, I did not get 216 Dileme, which is an ebony shade. I did not get 214, which is Instinct, a golden chocolate brown. I did not get 212 Caractere, which is a chestnut brown. Um, and I did not get 204 Sensation, which is a chocolate plum. I might be picking up 212, uh, the chestnut brown. That might work for me. The ebony, the golden chocolate brown, and the chocolate plum, I think they're gonna be too deep for me. Um, I do wanna see them um, hopefully in store at some point uh, to see if, you know, they're ones I could wear. Um, I do love a deep chocolate brownie kind of lipstick, but if it's too deep, um, it's just too much for my skin tone. Uh, all right, so before we get to lips, because we will finish with lips since I'm gonna be doing lip swatches of each one, the new liner. So this is blue. Now, I don't know if they're pronouncing it Carboni or Carbone or Carbon, but it's C-A-R-B-O-N-E and blue is spelled B-L-E-U. It is a beautiful blue gray shade. I did pick up several of these as I have showed, as I showed everyone on Instagram. I love these liners. So I want to show you some of my older liners that I have from Chanel that are in the blue shade range. So this is Marine. Now, some of these liners I've literally had for years, and I, I do mean years, far longer than you're supposed to keep stuff, but you know, these never have, I never have a problem with these, so I keep them as long as I possibly can until I use them up. This is Ebene, which is a deep grayish black. Um, and for me, these liners are the liners that I use as, as go-to liners. I never have problems with them. They work on my waterline. They work on my eyes. They last all day. They never dry out. They're just, for me, these are perfect. Uh, this is Grease Graphite. This is one of the newer shades that came out last year. Um, I haven't had any problems with the new formula versus the old formula. I know there's a slight difference, I can tell, but I don't know what it is. Um, but again, I haven't had any problems with them. So it's blue metal. And you can see none of them are the same as this 
new bluish gray shade, which is really great because it's, it's an additional shade. One thing I would say though, I do notice that they, the closure, sometimes they don't close all the way. I think it's mostly the new ones. The old ones closed a lot easier. So just keep that in mind. Make sure you're closing them all the way. Cause I've noticed like when I've closed my um, liners and I've gone and looked and then they were open, I was like, I'm just pretty sure I closed that. Um, and then these are the um, pencil liners. They're not the waterproof ones, the prison, uh, precision eye definers. This is blue jean. I'm gonna put this close to the new one, blue carbone, because they are similar. It's this one, blue jean, has a more of a shimmer to it, and it's a more of a blue, less than a gray, but um, there is a similarity, different formula. And then, uh, grease, I, I know I'm gonna pronounce this wrong. It's not scintillant, I know that. I know that it's different in French, um, but, that's, and again, this is in the eye definer. So this new shade right here, I'm gonna draw a little arrow to it. This new shade right here really is different than the others that I've used in Chanel. Um, does it exist in another liner? Probably, <laughs> but I really like it. It's a beautiful blue gray. Um, as for the collection, um, at least what's come out, if we're linking it to the intensity, quad. That's a purple quad, purplish gray quad with uh, gold in it. I guess you could say this would work because, you know, the, it's a blue, it's a purpley gray in that intensity quad. But I'll be honest, I don't think the blue carbone really, or carbon or whatever it is, um, really, really fits with that. I'm not exactly sure how that went. Maybe this went with another, I don't know. Um, but I do know there are other liners that are coming out. Uh, other waterproof liners. I know there's one called uh, Bois, Bois Gris, like something like that. And then there's one that's Bois, I, there's one that's gold, there's one that's a like a gray black. Um, and there may be others. So this might not be the only one that we see. I know the other two are coming and I'm pretty sure they're coming with the tweeds September 1st. So I'm gonna line my eyes with this just so you can see the shade on the eye. I went in a little heavy handed with it because I really wanted to see the shade. It's really pretty. It's a, it's a blue gray shade. Um, gorgeous. I mean, I, I love the color. And like I said, I love this formula. I think these liners are um, just absolutely excellent. So I am very glad to have it as part of my liner collection. And as soon as I find out more about the other shades, I'll certainly let you know. I think they're coming out with the, I'm pretty sure they're coming out with the tweeds September 1st. Um, about the tweeds, if you're trying to get them, I've told a bunch of people, you can pre-order with an SA at Nordstrom. Some, some of the Chanel boutiques are allowing you to pre-order, but they're not, they're not available yet. They're available September 1st. Um, but the fact that everyone's being able to pre-order, I'm gonna guess these are gonna go quickly because these are limited edition from my understanding. Um, and so they, they won't, there won't be a lot of them. Okay. Let's talk about the mascara. So I am, as part of this video, actually doing a, a giveaway for one of the mascaras, which we're gonna look at right now. So it's brand new. Um, and all you have to do to enter is comment on this video. Make sure you're following me here on Instagram. And if you're on TikTok, TikTok, you can go follow me over there. Um, all right, so this is the new mascara. It clicks in and out like the, um, like the lipsticks do, which is kind of cool. Uh, it's number 10, it's called Noir Allure. It says Noir is the shade, uh, six months, which makes sense because it's mascara, you don't wanna last more than that anyway. Um, the brush is a very thin, spindly brush, which I generally do not like. Um, not because it doesn't work, but because, because I tend to poke myself with it. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see what happens today. Um, I love the original Chanel mascara. I think it works extremely well. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> as I, as I poke myself. Okay, so it does. Yeah, it it is it is prickly. But the reason they do that with these like smaller like this, it's a it's a more narrow wand. The reason that they do that, and if you notice, I'm getting really close to my the base of my lashes, is that will pick up every lash. I have relatively long lashes, although they used to be longer when I was younger. Um, but 
What this does, because the, the, the comb has like these little prickly, spindly um, combs on it, it's gonna pick up every lash and lengthen. So it actually is doing quite a good job of that. Um, I'm being careful and going slow because it is one of those brushes that because it has so many of those, you know, long prickly things, uh, it combs, it, it does pick them all up, but it also it's kind of sharp. Um, now it's not metal or anything, you know, you're probably not gonna take your eye out, but you're certain you, you can poke yourself, uh, which I have done many, many times when I was trying to rush. So I do not suggest rushing. Um, if you have a thick, like kind of fluffy brush, that's more about volume, you can be, um, you know, less careful, but I would also say it doesn't get every lash. And if you don't have long lashes, those brushes don't work because they get to the lash. So that is really actually very nice. That lengthened, that lengthened well. Let's try it out on the bottom lashes. Um, a brush like this should work extremely well on a bottom lash because my lashes are obviously shorter on the bottom and it can get at them really easily because of the kind of brush you have. It's a thinner brush, smaller wand. Oh yeah, it can get at every lash. In fact, it's lengthening my lower lashes more than they, they usually are. So if you're looking for something that's gonna lengthen, it does volumize decently as well though, I will say, but this is more for somebody who wants length, especially if you have some, like, if you have shorter lashes, you're gonna like this because you can see it, it really lengthens the lashes. All right, let me do the other eye and uh, we will get to the lip swatches. Okay, mascara is on. Yeah, it's really nice. Uh, I remember reading something about that this was gonna have like a red base to it. I don't see any red, <laughs> but I mean, I could be missing it. Um, I just, it seems, it seems like good lengthening mascara. Uh, it says volume length, curl definition, protects and strengthens lashes, smud, smud, smudge proof. I will let you know if it's smudge proof. Um, yeah, it doesn't, I don't know. Um, noir allure. Anyway, I'm giving one away. Um, so yeah, I think it, I mean, I think you can see it definitely works. It's a, it's a nice lengthening mascara. I think it does give a little volume, not as much volume as I usually like. I like more of a volumizing mascara than a lengthening mascara, but this definitely works. Where I would definitely use this without question is on my bottom lashes, because it made my bottom lashes look enormous. <laughs> enormous. Um, because it's such a small little brush that it gets at every lash which I love for bottom lashes. Um, it reminds me a little bit of the MAC one that I use because it's so like thin that it gets at all of them. Um, yeah. No, no smell. I, I mean, it's, it's, it's interesting that it pumps like that. Wonder how, you know, uh, tight it stays, but we'll find out. And we'll see if it's smudge proof, but I will say so far, it's a nice lengthening mascara, worked really well, easy to put on. I have to be slow with it or I will poke myself. All right. Lipsticks. Like I said, I don't have the 199. I'm sorry. I don't know where it is. It's, it said it was supposed to be here. It's not here. So I figured without, I didn't want to make you guys wait too long because I was like, well, at some point, you know, <laughs> I don't know when it's going to be here. I will definitely swatch it on my lips when I get it. Um, so I thought what we could do is we could go with the rosy undertones first. I have 194, 195, 196, and 198. 199 is missing. And then the golden undertones, I have 206, 209, and 211. Um, 212 I am thinking about getting. I'm gonna have to see some more of it. Um, so let's show you how, these are the pop-up ones. I call them pop-ups. Like the mascara. That's how it looks. This is shade 194 Sensibility. It's considered a tender pink. It's 194 Sensibility. I 
And these are the Rouge Allure lipsticks, the Luminous Intense Lip Colors, 18 month shelf life. All right, next, 195. This is Mies and New, a soft beige. That's 190, that's 195, Mies and New. Okay, we have 196, a Demi Moi, it's M-O-T-S. This is a rosy beige. This is 196. All right, this one is 198 Nuance. This is a brownish rosewood. One ninety-eight Nuance. Now the shades that would be after this would be the 199 in a Tendu, which is a mauve brown, which is what I ordered, but it's not here yet. And 204 Sensation, which is a chocolate plum, which I have not ordered. Um, yeah, 204, a chocolate plum, which I have not ordered. Just making sure, yeah. So, you know, it's funny, looking at these, they're not so pigmented that I think the deeper shades would be as much of a problem for me. I was concerned because I was thinking they would be a little bit more intense, um, but they're 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 not they're they're not sheer, but they're not so opaque that the deeper shades would be a problem. So I might actually consider them. Well, we'll see. Once I get the 199, let's see how see how that looks. Um, all right, so let's move over to the golden undertones. I have 206, 209, 211, um, and we'll start with 206, which is Illusion, a warm beige. That's 206. This is interesting. Oh, this is Illusion, a warm beige. This is basically a little bit warmer than my skin tone. So if I was looking for like a true nude lipstick, I would use this. I would take like a chocolate browner, or a chocolate liner, chocolate brown kind of liner and put it on my lips and have a very nude look. And this would work well. If I left it the way it is, I think it could wash me out unless I did a brighter look on the eye. Okay, now it is 209, it's Alter Ego, a hazelnut brown. I really like this shade. This tends to be more of like my little bit pinky brown shade. Um, Again, 209 Hazelnut Brown. I think this is really pretty. It's great neutral, but you could definitely, you know, make it deeper with liner or the way by itself it looks. It looks great. Okay, the last one that I have today is 211 Subtile or Subtle or Subtle, depending on how they decided to, do, <laughs> to, to pronounce it. Uh, this is a reddish beige, 211. really pretty. That's a really nice shade. Um, it's interesting. The ones that I like so far are the deeper ones. Although, I mean, the lighter ones are good for like an everyday shade. Um, but this reddish beige is interesting. I really like this. Based on the swatches I've done, I think 212, a chestnut brown, 214, a golden chocolate brown, and 204, a chocolate plum are, are ones that I didn't order. I think I will order them. The 215 Dileme or Dileme uh, Dilem is an ebony shade. I think that would be uh, too deep for me. So I'm checking out um, Chanel's site really quickly. I want to see how Chanel refers to these lips. I know they're the Rouge Allure lipsticks. I've been using them for a long time. 
but I want to see how they describe the lipstick. An intense, long-wearing lip color with full coverage and a satin finish. The formula instantly comforts lips, leaving them luminous and supple. Palette of vibrant shades for a bold, daring look. Ultra-thin pigments deliver full coverage. Okay. Um, sap and wood help smooth moisturize with check lips. Interesting. Um, yeah, the one thing I'll say about these, they kind of remind me a little bit of, and I've, like I said, I've been using the Rouge Allure for a while, but, um, it's a very thin formula. It's like the new E. Saint Laurent Bold formula, but I will tell you, the E. Saint Laurent Bold formula has more pigment. These may be what they call, you know, um, full coverage with a, a bold look, but I think these are a little more... They're a little lighter than that. I think they're buildable. Yeah, you get more coverage if you put on a couple of swipes. They, and that's what I, that's what I remember about these. But um, they are thin. They don't, these don't feel heavy on the lips, which is what I like. Um, I love a creamy lipstick, don't get me wrong. There are some lipsticks that are very creamy, very thick, and they feel comfortable. But I do like a lighter formula lipstick. It just feels more comfortable for my lips. Um, so this is an ultra thin pigment, which I think works for someone like me who doesn't like a heavy lipstick. Um, but I would say on like the first swipe, you do get a lighter coverage, if you will. You're gonna wanna build it up a little bit more to get the full intensity of the color. I like the deeper shades more than the lighter shades. Um, I would also say that's partially because I don't have like a very vibrant look on my eyes and I don't have a lot on my face. I just have on uh, a little bit of bronzer and a little bit of blush. Um, so I think if I had more on my face, uh, you know, especially my eyes, the lighter lipsticks would appeal to me more. I think with this type of look, I want a, a deeper lip, um, a more of a lip. And I have to say, all the shades I like, like I, there wasn't one that I tried on that was like, that's terrible. <laughs> so, but I would say they are very different than they would be if I swatched them on my hand. So that's why I've been trying to do more of these lip swatches because I think swatching them on your arm, yes, it is helpful to see what it looks like on skin tone. But when you put it on your lip, it's very different because your lip has pigment in it. My lips are fairly pigmented, so I do try to use the foundation to, to even that out so that it doesn't look, you know, like my lip doesn't give too much of the shade to it, but it still gives you a much better representation, I think, of what it's gonna look like on you um, than it would if I put it on my arm. So that again is 211. I think that's my favorite, actually, of all of them, which is interesting. Um, yeah, I think my favorite is this one, which is 211 Subtle or Subtile or whatever they've decided to pronounce it like. Uh, a reddish beige. 209 Alter Eager, the one that before this. Really liked that one. That's a hazelnut brown. 206 is basically the color of my skin, as you saw. Uh, so if you're looking for like a nude and your my skin range, skin tone, uh, that's going to be a very, very nude for you. Um, and could wash you out, depending on, you know, what kind of liner you use. Um, the sensibility on the root on the uh, rosy side, the lightest, it's a very light pink. The Missen Nu is more like my skin tone. Uh, a Demi Mott uh, is a rosy beige. That's pretty. It's like a rosy uh, brown, which was nice. And Nuance was a brownish rosewood, which I love. 199 is the mauve brown. That was the one that I was thinking I'd like the most, and of course it's not here, uh, but I will swatch that. And if I pick up 204, 212, and 214, I'll just do those as well. Um, I am inclined to do that because although these are um, cover, full coverage lipsticks and quote bold, I actually think they're not they're not overwhelming, which for me is a good thing in the way that they've done the shades. I think they are buildable. As you saw, I made the color more intense, but I think the deeper shades would work for me, except for maybe 215. I think 215 is probably, if they if they describe it as an ebony, that's probably too deep for my skin tone um, for what I wear, but I think the rest would work. So hopefully that was helpful today. Um, as I've said, the mascara giveaway, all you have to do is comment on this video and be subscribed to this channel, uh, Instagram and TikTok if you're over there. And if you have any questions about the lipsticks, let me know, the mascara, the, um, the eyeliner, any of that, the nail polish, um, you know, it's funny. I really like all the shades 
Um, I will say this one, um, which is, which one was this one? It's, I think, hold on, I have to go through my tier, 951 Original. It has almost an olive tone to it. It has like this, and I'll, I'll hold the nails really closely, but can you see like it has almost like an olive? Now these are the, the golden undertones. And then the rose ones, um, you know, they're, they're rosy neutrals. I think I like the rosy ones better on my skin tone, but you know, again, it's, it's preference. And for the um, Chantecai, I really love the finish that this, the ro what was the name of it? Now I've already forgotten the name of it, oh my goodness. It's the Sheer Glow Rose Face Tint. If you're somebody who's looking for a rosy glow all over the face, and I think it would work on top as well, I'll put a little bit on top, I think this is something that's gonna be kind of a staple for me, especially in the winter when my skin gets, to be honest, Dull. Um, I think this is something that I could wear year round all over my face, just put it all over and then put foundation on top so that I look glowy and I look healthy. And you know, I will, the, the anti-aging face tint, the, the tanning one, um, this one, I will admit, like I only can really use it here uh, and maybe like around the face because it is a little too deep for me to use all over my face because I am so pale. But this one, this one just imparts a rosy glow. And it's almost like the rosy light drops that Chanel had, but this is like more comforting for my skin because it's got that like skincare element to it. So it makes my skin feel better, which is awesome. So, I mean, I've only used this, I've only used this today. I gotta keep using it. But so far, I really love this. And I could see me going through this pretty quickly if I'm gonna use it every day. Um, because I, that's what I've been looking for, something to give me an all over glow, but doesn't make me look shiny, you know? Just makes me look healthy. And I love the rose part, because for me, um, rose, a light pink looks good on my on my skin tone. So I'm, I'm really loving it. I think it's awesome. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. So thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. Hope to see you in another video really soon. Bye.